We are at the visita uh, Visitation Church, which is a um, Catholic church. That's where Mary met Elizabeth, but most of the compound, it's actually Russian. Um, the, the Catholic one is actually part of the um, small island inside the Russian. Uh, today, we're not going to deal with the uh, Franciscans uh, visitation church, mainly because uh, uh, I do have so many videos of it that if you already subscribe to my channel, I'm sure that you saw it. If not, you can subscribe and watch it. But this is a Russian area and uh, um, we are going to be guided by uh, uh, a Russian monk who speaks Hebrew. I will try to translate everything to English. I'm not working now because of the war, but uh, uh, but I'm doing everything to study more and more that he will have more information about it. Then this is the Visitation Catholic Church. And this is the entrance to the Russian compound. But there is another hidden uh, entrance. You can see the group of the tour guides there. We will enter to the Gorni uh, Russian church. The entrance is not from here. The main one is from a different place. Uh, you can see the place that John the Baptist was born, another Catholic church. The main uh, entrance to Gorni and you will recognize it if you've been with me because there's a golden onion uh, um, you will see uh, golden onions uh, um, at on top of the church uh, the main entrance is from Hadassah Hospital which is above it we will end the tour today there but we will enter from here Then this is part of the Goni and uh, Goni monastery, as as he already knows. And Karim was kind of a um, uh, competition between the Russians and uh, and uh, um, Catholic. Um, Rastibon, Catholic monastery, built the beautiful uh, monastery there, Sisters of Zion, which I took a video of it and the church and the Russians build their compound here as well both of the places as he said and yeah you must remember that he's a Russian a monk and I love him but it's actually after the Krim um, uh, uh, war at the 19th century, 60s of the 19th century, between Russia and the world. And he actually said it's actually the same as what's happening now between Russia and not only Ukraine, Russia and uh, the European countries. Everyone sees it in a different perspective, different way. The Franciscans didn't want to sell it the Catholic to the Russian remember it's kind of a war between those uh, uh, but because a guy from the uh, French um, embassy that didn't like the French because he didn't pay him a, a salary he decided to sell it to the Russian one of his houses is here and the other house the other house is uh, uh, in it and we will see it later on that poor man was killed a few months later. We don't know, yeah. We don't know how we did it, he said. The guy that uh, sold that land to the Russians was named Carlo. 
and that's the beginning of the monastery by the name Gorni. Um, the, the entrance from there, it's the historical entrance to, the, to Gorni. Today we have um, a library and archive in that, in that building. We are entering through the cemetery. We will visit uh, all the hidden places of Gorni, which is amazing because uh, the, it's a an nunnery and, and they speak English, sorry, Russian. And they're, they're not nice to people who doesn't speak Russian just because they don't know any other, la any other language. Then you are going to visit with me so many hidden places. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, be part of it. This is a unique video. Just for the information, in Russian, John is called Ivan. In Arabic, Christian Arabic, it's um, uh, Hanna. Then Hanna Carlo, John, sold that place to the to the um, to the Russian. Then we are entering now through the um, ancient uh, entrance to the Gorni, to the Russian church. It's funny to say I've been here so many times, I didn't even pay attention to that door and now I know that it's actually a Russian entrance, not even uh, a door that belongs to the uh, Catholic and yes I can see the cross which is not uh, above the door which is not really um, a, cross, a Catholic cross and the cross is here as well on the door itself. Yes, then we just enter to the Goni compound. smell of the rain. This is the second house of Hanakalo. The first one, as you remember, is the library. This is the second house. He sold it. He was a Catholic guy and he sold it to the Russian as a revenge for the people who didn't pay him uh, this, his salary. Today the house belongs to the mother of the monastery. Katerina, her name is. She replaced the other mother that actually stayed, served there for, for 30 years. Turgia, it was her name. Georgia, that was her name. Uh, her tomb is here. She died two years ago. And Katerina is now serving as a, the mother of the monastery, the nunnery in a way. This is the administrative uh, uh, place. Um, <clears throat> well, the welcome hall is here, and the uh, management is here. <clears throat> but this is the most respectable building here in that in Goni. Egomenia, it's the title in Russian for the mother of, uh, of uh, the month. So it's only women here. It's nunnery, not, uh, there's no men here, just uh, the one who comes to make the ceremonies, but uh, then it's Goni, uh, it's 
Ah, Goni, it's like Monterey. It's a mountain. Monterey, then it's a nunnery of Russian nuns uh, by the name Goni. The name Goni is from the New Testament when Gabriel uh, appeared uh, uh, next to Maria and he said, Go to Elizabeth, which is on demand. She's waiting for you on demand. Then this is the meaning of the word Goni, the mountains of, of uh, Judea. Katerina was running um, a monastery of 500 uh, nuns from Russia and she was sent to here. There are only 80 uh, nuns in, uh, in Gorny. Uh, if you would compare it to Russia, it's not a lot, but in, uh, in Israel, it's the biggest nunnery um, in Israel. The nuns are for so many places in uh, Russia and Ukraine. Inside, uh, inside the uh, monasteries, you can feel the tension between those uh, two uh, kind of two countries. Um, but I must say that he said that they are trying not to enter to politics and they are living together in harmony. So, They used to have uh, Arabic nuns, all of them uh, left at 1948 when it became to be, uh, when it became to be Israel. They moved to Jordan. They are getting a visa from the government, it's called A3, it's a, a, a visa for uh, religious people and they can stay here for the rest of their life. The nun can be... Um, uh, um, she could have a husband and a family, but and then after he died, he, or after she divorced, she went uh, to the nunnery. It's it, in, in, uh, in the Provoslav, it's a well-known thing. It's... it's, it's um, it, it, it's, a, it's a common thing. I, I was laughing because the last one uh, had to close the door and he said, I'm going to make a copy of that, uh, of that, uh, um, that uh, um, key. Here today, uh, the mother of, of uh, the nunnery has got a child and, there I, and she is a, a nun as well. When it's talking about a, a Russian church, it's talking about Orthodox churches. Uh, that there's only few Catholic and, uh, and um, other um, uh, Christians in Russia. The vow that they are accepting, no more family uh, and husband, and you know, no more um, marital uh, uh, opinions. It's the second uh, uh, second vow that <laughs> that um, he say that the uh, Catholic Franciscans uh, brothers, not all of them are uh, obedient. Uh, they are not. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that a tension between those? Two? Uh, <laughs> You are deleting all your needs and you are doing only things that the mother of the convent uh, will ask to do, which is not so easy. Um, no, not, not so easy to accept. I don't know about you, but um, I'm not sure that I can be a monk and not uh, a Russian monk as well. Another thing, no more money. No more businesses. You are voted. You are 
dealing only with Jesus. You can actually work for the church, but not for your, your own needs. No more property. It started to rain again. Wow. There are olive trees, <laughs> and 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 uh, he said that it's excellent for uh, against rain. Then let's stand uh, beneath it. There's a smell of fire. I mean, something like uh, wooden fire. I I uh, really like that. That smell it reminds me my youth. All right, it's really raining now. If you are uh, uh, becoming a uh, uh, pri uh, if you're becoming a priest, you cannot eat meat anymore. Oh, I wish that one day I will be able to do that. I really love meat. <laughs> Fish you can eat, but not meat. He actually said that, that St. Paul uh, had an argument in Thessaloniki, one of the letters of it, if you can eat meat or not. Uh, especially when it's not kind of a non-Jewish uh, non one, not kosher, or pagan. Then they decided not to, to uh, eat uh, meat at all. A Russian monk is to go until the edge to go to a thing the, the end of your limits and just before you are getting crazy the, not easy not easy to be a monk as you can as you can hear the martyrs for example for example it's a kind of holiness he said uh, only people can be someone that worked without getting paid, like doctors, for example. There's a lot of uh, holy people that uh, that uh, did it. There are holy people that lived in caves, solitary. They reached to a very high level um, uh, of holiness. And there's another uh, part of, of uh, uh, holiness. They live in a secular uh, society, but they are trying to uh, uh, trying to keep the uh, uh, um, uh, the New Testament rules, and they call it and not me. They call it crazy because um, in the secular uh, word, when you are uh, keeping all the must the Christians must it's uh, it's uh, it's crazy it's, it's it looks different I mean secular and holy and religious people it looks like that doesn't go together but then the the secular calls them crazy people I know at least one or two women that I love they are my sisters that I can relate to that because a lot uh, um, their family are not accepting them because they are um, are living according to the Bible. For me, those two ladies are saints. I won't mention the name, but I think you can. Uh, the one who knows what I'm talking about knows what I'm talking about. Saint women in that cemetery. Um, most of the holy people, uh, uh, Russian people, are buried, and um, you can at least sit here and celebrate with it. It's not a sad place. You know that according to Christian belief, they will uh, resurrect and they were holy then. The future is, uh, is saved. One of them, one of them is the mother of the law. Uh, mother of the order, the member that served 30 years, you will see that there are, uh, there's a candle, 24, 27 a day, 27, 
24-7. Let me take a video of it for you. Wow. Uh, there's, um, it's not unique, but, but uh, most of the Russian churches you can see that kind of a cross with eight points. You can actually say that that is the um, um, inscription of Pontus Pilate and cross the legs and the Golgotha a symbol then and the upper part is the Titulus or Imri Jesus from Nazareth King of the Jews you know what it is that is for the legs of Jesus in the uh, 15th, 16th century, uh, they used to have a cross like that with a moon. A moon, it's the symbol of uh, uh, Islam, and this is kind of a victory of, of the Islam, and then, then it became to be like that. Uh, so many options. The two tombs that you can see here is of, of a mother and a child, two nuns that lived here for so many years on top of the hill and uh, there was a man that came to uh, to hear from them and to, he wanted to become Christians or to become a, a, a monk I'm not sure that I remember but one day he butchered them and killed them then in that case um, they were buried here and for the local people they are hero they are holy women let me show you the tomb, it is. Climbing now up. We just came from the cemetery. And look how beautiful it is. What are the nuns doing every day? They are living together in one place and the main thing is to pray, to connect themselves to God. This is the main thing. In the Eastern Christian, um, it talks about the Orthodox Russian. Uh, if you want to repair the world, you have to repair yourself first. And don't enter to any politic. Um, to concentrate with yourself. Cure yourself and then you will be able to cure the world. I love it. I accept it. And the uh, Western churches, he said, it's different. Then they concentrate with uh, uh, a pray for uh, of their the word for the word of the families against the war. There's a big debate now, in those days, if they can uh, pray of victory or peace. As I believe it's the, we're talking about the Ukraine and Russian uh, problem, war. From all over the world, they are getting some requests of, uh, the, of pra to pray for them. It's like eight hours a day of praying, uh, including a pray in, in the church, like uh, services, but all the prayers in each day, it's plus minus eight hours.
it's a communion. They they have of course daily jobs like um, dining room, uh, guest rooms for uh, for uh, pilgrims. You have to serve them. Um, there's a big, uh, it's a huge place. You have to clean it, um, to, to garden that place. There's a lot of work uh, here to keep it, to keep it like that. And, and let's face it, it's beautiful. Then um, they need some help. Then there are some men that are coming to, uh, as volunteers. Some of them are getting uh, pay, like the electricity and things like that, that the, the nuns cannot uh, deal with. Then they have a different section that then actually they can work. Uh, some of them are, are painting icons. Wow. And uh, some of them are working with uh, pilgrims uh, groups. It's like tour guide, local tour guide. Then this is more or less, uh, that's what I think ever, uh, everything, uh, every day. And they're not having agriculture, uh, things here, and, uh, no vegetables and, uh, and um, fruit here. But in Russia, I can find a lot of uh, monks that dealing with agriculture. The most uh, income that they're getting are for pilgrims who are visiting, and I know that a lot of the old Provoslavs lives money in each church. I mean, they are living, as you said, uh, like a, in a communist uh, time, or the first kibbutzes in Israel, sharing everything. They have not even one shekel, one dollar, one ruble um, for themselves. If they have a vacation once or twice, and once in a few years, they are getting their flying ticket uh, by the monastery itself. We are starting, we are climbing up, and this is the story of that place. A lot of climbing up. What are eating? Aha! A couple of different things. There are a lot of uh, 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 places, uh, a lot of times of, of, of uh, fasting. It can be even one month of fasting. It can be even two months uh, as uh, um, for that. Look how beautiful it is. Then, uh, for example, the Lent, that you can, uh, we are in Lent time. Oh, you can see the nun that are, wow. I didn't see it. I don't know. Oh. Wow. Then, in that case, um, it's a huge place, isn't it? I hope that it's not too much information because I'm trying to give you everything that he said, um, and uh, it might be a long, it's going to be a long, a long video. But um, hallelujah! I'm sure that most of you will be happy to hear it. We are next to the dining room and the church. And that's kind of a tomb of a nun that um, been buried here. If she was something special, then they bury, used to bury the nuns next to their church. Um, there's a lot of statues here. Let me see. You can see that tomb of her. But monks. There are white and black monks. White can get married, black cannot. He, for example, is a white one. He's got a wife and kids. Talking about Roman. <clears throat> there are a few statues here. And it's all about a very important people who actually represent uh, Israel, I mean, uh, the church in Israel. 
As you can understand, nothing is in English. That's before the revolution. And here is Kapustin. Ah, oh, and Red. And he actually built uh, that uh, monastery. See the church, um, about food. There's a regular. Yeah, you know exactly what you can eat today and tomorrow, even uh, via application. And today, for example, you can eat everything. Tomorrow, no, no fish, no milk, no, uh, no um, meat. And it's the beginning of the land, according to the Greek Orthodox. It's a little bit different than the Catholic. Ah. It sounds like it's 12 o'clock now. Pustin, which you can see is that you hear, uh, didn't actually, I mean, he didn't uh, deal only with that place. Every place that belongs to the Russian in Israel, Palestine, it is job. He took, I mean, he is in, in a way the a great uh, Russian builder um, in uh, that region. Kapustin, uh, you remember it started with two houses, but um, Kapustin said that uh, that he'd been told that if he will buy the uh, uh, the upper place, he, he will see the Mediterranean Sea. Then every time he he bought land, upper land, but he didn't see the sea. And then he bought another land, he didn't see the sea. And then at the end, he built a, a tower. Uh, to see it. That is a little bit funny and beautiful. He wanted to build here a village, a Russian village, Maskubia, and this is the well-known name uh, uh, by the Israelis. There's a lot of Maskubias. It sounds like Moscow. Uh, there's a, in every place you can find Maskubia, which is uh, a village, a Russian village. That's what he meant to build here. But as you can see, it's a nunnery now. Mostly widows, uh, women with money, uh, asked, uh, came to here and he uh, told them to build a house here and live here until they'll die. 
and after the lie it goes straight to the church itself. Then you can see a lot of houses like that. For example, those two buildings. Today it's a nunnery uh, uh, house. I remember at least 50 nuns, 50 buildings, but but there's a lot of people who volunteers here and um, another 20, 30 people. There are more than 100 people who lives lives here daily and a lot of houses. And, uh, and the dining room is quite big and this is the dining room. If you're not arriving to the dining room, it means that something bad happened to you. Then, um, then in that case, it's uh, very important to be here. You cannot skip the, uh, uh, let's say, lunch, and uh, you cannot talk uh, uh, while you are eating. Russian churches love holy water. And uh, part of the prayer, they are, they are blessing the water. And there's a place here next to the church, and you can refill bottles with holy water. I will show it to you soon. In some of the ceremonies, after they bless the water and become holy water, they actually splash it on the on their uh, pilgrims, and I saw it a lot. Now I know that. It's part of the holy water, and let me show it to you. Right now, it's been in English, which is, I think, the only, the only uh, sentence in English in that in that uh, uh, church. Let's go to see the main entrance to the church, and as you can see, there are more than one here. In front of me, you can see the Franciscan church, the visitation church. You can see the Franciscans, the visitation church. <clears throat> And this is the Catholic one. But the Russian one is right here. According to the, um, Russian, this stone, this column, is part of the Elizabeth House. The rock, according to. Uh, to the to John the, uh, to to the Russian, this is where John the Baptist had his own first uh, speech ceremony or pray. You can see the meeting between Alice, uh, Elizabeth and Mary. Oh, at least you can see a little bit of sun. Let's enter the church.
was built by Capustin. This is the first church that was built here in 1860, 1881. Looks like a basilic church. Usually you have to stand when you are praying. But if you are old, you can actually sit just like we are sitting now. There's not place here for all of them. And they built another church if you saw outside and they finished building it, it at 2000. Oh, that's the Golden Onion Church. This is the big one, and we're gonna we're gonna see it soon. This is the most important icon of the church, of Mary, the mother. It's from Russia in the city of Kazan. There was a miracle there. It's called Maria from Kuzan. It's a very important icon that it's uh, with a wooden frame. Inside that holy church, there are earlier places, and that one was uh, was uh, uh, one of them. Iska, there's a um, box with relics, only uh, part of the only um, people who does a um, few objects of them can be part of their body or something else. There's another one. As you mentioned some stones that are here. The church is dedicated to the visitation, but not only for that. It's related to John the Baptist as well. Remember Ivan? That's the one option to mention his name or uh, uh, John as well. Yeah, Johan. Johan is another option. And you can see soon an um, icon of, of John and he's holding a cup and there's a face of a child. Uh, we will see it. And this is actually 
the baptist of of, of, jo of uh, jesus by john it's of course it's a symbolic uh, symbolic uh, thing that is symbol for the pure soul of a baby of jesus the pureness of his I will show it to you soon. Remember the icon with a miracle in uh, 1919 in the World, First World War. There was a plague, a plague uh, here in Karam, in the village. And a lot of the people, most of them, died. Um, there were a few hundreds of uh, nuns here. All of them were affected. They were sure that they will die. And one night, they closed the church and they gathered here and started to pray all night with tears. Yeah. And they, all of them. Uh, all of them actually left the church and no one died. Then that was a miracle that happened here. That's why that icon that I will show you again later on is uh, being blessed. Uh, or they must have put an icon here in their church or even in that uh, uh, going in that um, monastery. This is at Mary at Kazan, the icon. It looks a little bit different. Is standing straight. Then I will show it to you later on. The icon is this here. At the right side, it's Mary, Elizabeth and Mary, visitation. you will see the Old Testament and the New Testament together on the same level. Let me show it to you. That is it. You can see here Alexander Yevsky, which is uh, was, um, part of the Tsar family. He became to be very holy. The Charles Alexander II. When they built the church, it was part of the Tsar, part of that. And, and he, he was very important. I think every tour guide knows, knows about him. This is the one. See again the synagogue, I mean the Old Testament to the left. And um, uh, to the right, you can see the um, Christian the New Testament. Let me show you the, the most important icon here. And we are going to another church. This is John the Baptist. And you can see the face of Jesus and Kazan. And look at Jesus here. Did you love that um, 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 tour? Because I uh, 
Uh, it's, I think, the only information that we can get. I mean, the best information we are being um, gathered by a, a priest, a, a Russian priest. And we are entering to so many places that uh, in a regular time we cannot. Then it's quite unique. I might cut that video into a few options, a few videos, because um, some people are complaining that it's uh, it's uh, my videos are too long. Uh, tell me what do you think. I mean, and don't be shy. Add a uh, comment. Write me a message. Is it too long? Um, should I cut it into a few videos? Let let me study from uh, from you. Another thing, Zachariah and Elizabeth at the, the upper part. You can see Zachariah and Elizabeth. You can recognize Zachariah as a priest. You can see the filling on his head. And uh, right, 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 right here. Yeah. And. Um, and uh, Elizabeth uh, said when she met, she, she, when she met uh, uh, Mary, she said uh, she knew that she was actually uh, talking to the Master, to the Lord, uh, through her uh, pregnancy. You can see the visitation here to the right. <laughs> Here's the visitation of Mary and Elizabeth. I think we already saw it. But the other side, I didn't mention that this is the uh, Annunciation in Nazareth of Mary. Still, you can see now the new church, which is the most famous church. You can see it from so many places in Jerusalem. And we are going into Bidar. Yay! On top of uh, the souvenir shop, you can see Mary uh, on the way to M. Karen from Nazareth. Let's enter to the souvenir shop, not because I want you to buy anything, but because he asked us to do that, to um, show them respect. Uh, then uh, let me take a video of it and you will see how it looks like. Oh, I love the smell of incense. I myself love that icon of John the Baptist as an angel holding his hand as well. Now, this is the a Catholic Church, and if you visit it with me or you watch my uh, video, you know that there's a cave that, uh, according to tradition, uh, uh, John the Baptist and his mother uh, were hiding uh, there from uh, the soldiers of King Herod. We are making a run tour to reach what he actually said, the real cave. Then uh, you will see the, um, another option for the cave of uh, John the Baptist that we're making a run tour. Huh? It's not easy to walk here. It's a city. Let me show you it. Church of John and John the Baptist. John the Baptist. The weather is amazing. 
uh, it looks so like Europe, uh, like Russia. Although I'm sure that they are freezing there in Russia. And uh, the weather here is perfect. Yesterday it was sunny, tomorrow it's going to be sunny again. Uh, today here in Jerusalem it's a little bit cold, uh, but not so cold. As you can see the people walking here with uh, um, light coats. And uh, mystic. Mm. Love that place. I love that place. I was here a few times, but um, I had no guidance. And I didn't know, for example, about uh, the church of John the Baptist here with a cave. And we just make, made a run tour around the Visitation Catholic Church. And you can see the Catholic. Yeah, I never saw it from here. Catholic Church is a beautiful church as well. Let me go as quick as I can to show you the Catholic Church facade from here. I wonder why no one did it. Look how beautiful it is. Magnificat, so many languages. I've never been here on the roof of the church. And this is the church itself, which is including two layers of a church. Um, the cave and uh, the church, the daily church is dedicated to Mary. You can see three um, mosaics, which is usually not so uh, Greek Orthodox or Pravoslav. Mary, it looks like Mary and Child, or Elizabeth. Elizabeth with, uh, with uh, John the Baptist, the, the Zachariah and uh, Mary. And that's when the angel told Zachariah about the future of John the Baptist. Let me show it to you. Zakaria. Gabriel. 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 Again, you can see the icon uh, that I love. John the Baptist as an angel, and you can see his head as well, like the future of his. Um, visitation is right here. Hmm. So I need to see the Russian church together with the tower of the Franciscan church. There's a special holiday here of um, um, of Zachariah 
and uh, and, uh, and Elizabeth. It's a holiday when they met each other. Remember, he couldn't talk, and uh, and uh, Elizabeth. It's a, like an official holiday because it was a miracle. Uh, remember, the Korea got the message that that now they're gonna have a. She's pregnant. Then uh, it's, uh, it's lovely. You expected to see Elizabeth as an old woman, but um, when they are doing um, um, icons, it's mostly spiritual. Then, if you look at the face of uh, Elizabeth, you can see that she is quite young. Today, there's a holiday of uh, John the Baptist. Huh? I didn't know that. But there are so many holidays of uh, John the Baptist. It's a holiday of the finding of the head of John the Baptist. You can see that right here. Now we are celebrating today. Yay! His body was buried in Sebastia. Uh, I do have uh, a video of it uh, in my YouTube channel. Uh, just write Sebastia in my name and you will see it. Um, the head is buried. Uh, it's buried now in Jerusalem. Another video that I made. Um, in John the Baptist uh, tomb in Sebastia, you could visit Elisha, Elisha uh, tomb as well. And um, wow, this beautiful one. There's a huge connection between those two. Remember, John the Baptist is, in a way, uh, Elijah as well. But head, there's uh, two options of the head tombs. One is the Russian church uh, at Mount of Olives. And that's where they found the uh, head of his. And uh, tradition actually say that the first time when they found his head, for the first time was in the second century, yeah, and the second time, it was in the 4th century. There's a big story, a long story about it. Then, we found this head twice, and the head was taken to Greek. And, <laughs> yes. And another option is at uh, Jerusalem, at uh, John the Baptist Church. We are entering into the church, but it's a cave. It's very steep uh, stairs to the bottom of the church. And I will do that for you. Because he said, if, it's, if you're afraid of it, stay here. I'm not. I'm doing it. I want to see the cave. So, I don't know about you, I'm smiling, look at, look at me, smiling, I'm so happy to be here, and it's even sunny now. We are now uh, at uh, the entrance, walking down soon, but I want you to see how it looks like. And uh, now I can go all the way down the cave is of course holy they wanted to uh, they want to build a church on top of it. It used to be only a cave for so many years. And, uh, if 
few dozen years ago, they decided to build a church here. It's kind of an altar downstairs. I don't know. I didn't see it yet. You will see too. But it's like a owner, a chair of owner, chairman, something like that. table of the last uh, supper they call it a table not an altar and the orchid the uh, altar at the left part the altar is uh, to the left then the last uh, supper table and you will see um, menorah Tender broom, tender broom on top of it, and you will see it. Sun. <coughs> this is the place that Mary and Elizabeth met. This is the table, and the altar is right there. We are just beneath the crypt of uh, we are just beneath of the Franciscan church. And the area of the cave there as well. And in that case, above us is the cave, the um, place that um, uh, John the Baptist was hid by his mother. Because remember, the King Herod wanted to kill all the children till the age of two. And um, what I know now is that now oh, there's an even spring there. Uh, beneath the, in the cave of the Catholic, there's another cave here. If you will break the wall here, you will reach um, and with the cave of the Catholic. Yes, that is this is new for me. The Korea and. Elizabeth. It's nice, I must say. I didn't know about it. And now you know it too. Now let's climb up. Steep, but not so steep. It's uh, even if you you can travel here from time to time, but yeah, that place is not open to the public. Then, Pilala, we did it. We did it. You saw it. Now we know, now we know. We are talking about that. Uh, we, we are usually visiting the Catholic part. And, and no one told us there that there's another option of the Russian. And now you know. No more secrets. It's sunny. Now you can see the second part of the day. It's beautiful and sunny. What can I tell you? I'm happy. Full of joy. Uh, I didn't eat breakfast. I cannot eat. I'm full. With knowledge. With spirit. I hope that you are full with that as well. You can see the facade of the Catholic Church from here. Hallelujah. Uh, it's a beautiful mosaic of uh, the way from Nazareth to uh, Ankerem. Of course, she was riding a donkey. Uh, she was pregnant here. She actually walked, if you remember. But it's so nice to see it from here. Then downstairs is the... Um, the second entrance uh, and the first house of uh, remember that was uh, bought. Should I do that? Let me, let me, let me do that. I hope that they won't 
hate me for that because I don't know where Roman is taking us. Remember the library, the archive is in that building. And you can see the facade of the Catholic Church from here. That's the exit. Right there. Then I'm going back because I don't want... I mean, it's a city. I'm going to lose him in less than a second. Oh, he's climbing up. Wow, it's going to be like a long, long video. Red, if you want to see enough medium. לא אמרתי לך את זה? רד. לא אמרתי לך ורד. Guys, we are climbing all the way up now. All the way up. Then we saw the facade of the Catholic Church. And we're climbing to the Golden Onion Church, which is right here. And that's going to be the end of the tour. Um, if you are watching every moment of that video I'm begging you to write a comment because I want to know how many great people are here everyone are great but how many people that really wants to know everything uh, that's happening here in the Holy Land are with me and don't forget to spread the rumor send that video which is a unique video um, to all of your friends all over the world, Russian, non-Russian, Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant, Christians, whatever. Cathedral of the Russian Saints. It's only the uh, beginning of the way, and we're gonna climb a lot. Uh, that's what Roman told me. I, I see Roman in the in the city of Jerusalem a lot, and uh, he's so nice and kind. Uh, he lives at the Mary Magdalene. Um, Church Mount of Olives, and I do have a video of his guiding me, guiding the, a group of tour guides as well. Then watch, watch, look for it at uh, my YouTube channel. Just write Mary Magdalene in my name, and you will find it. Or look for it through my YouTube channel. I think it's easier. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Up and up and up and look at that. That's only for the nuns. Yeah, I cannot go there. I'm not a nun. Look at Jerusalem, look at Peter Vertis. It's a city. It's a big city. Don't remember it as as a big place just like that. Lava. 
wczoraj rozmawiam z nimi i mówię, coś mi dają. A co? O, to ja nie robię tak. Słyszałam. Aj, zabrać. Nie chciałam nigdy. Tak. Ja pomyślałam. Aj, gasi, co? Ja też nie chcę mi robić na takiej arca. A my jesteś tylko klamik. Łapa tam Well, I'm not sure that I need to go to the gym tonight. Not that I'm going to the gym anyhow. No restrooms. And here is the facade of the church. From here you cannot see the golden dome, golden onion domes, but uh, I'm sure that we will be able to see it from a different angle. Wow, the best view is from here. And the wind. Thank you for the sun. You know, with that. Okay. Let me show you how beautiful it is. Until he will talk, I can make a round tour around it, and you will be able to see. John the Baptist Baharim in the mountains. That is where he was born and lived for so many years. I'm talking about John the Baptist, of course. Wait, wait. All right. Took a video of it. Let's make a run tour. Then you can see a lot of Ankerim and the uh, first neighborhoods of Jerusalem as well. Oh, look at the nun. Look at the nun. Look how beautiful it is. Oops. And the sun is in our eyes. But you can see the church and the meeting place with uh, Mary and, and Elizabeth. I started to talk. Remember that he built, he bought more and more and more and more and then he wanted to see the seed and he built a, a tower. And let me show it to you. You cannot see it from here yet. Let me show it to you. Ah, oh, here it is. That's a tower. All Russian saints church is here. And you can see John, John the Baptist. Elizabeth, which is a very famous woman in Russia, she was a part of the royal family, but she took care of all the people. She died at the end when the Tsar family died as well, and she is buried at uh, God at uh, Mary Magdalene Church in, in uh, Mount of Olives, and she actually helped to build that church as well. They're still building the church, they didn't decorate all the churches. Some of the walls are without frescoes, without icons. 
it's ready for the frescoes for the icons but um, they didn't uh, didn't finish it yet because they're still building it well many many years from now it will be uh, opened I mean it will be or um, uh, organized for us and we will be able to see every details here but certainly now we cannot all the prayers are here between twice to three times a day, all the nuns climb all the way up to pray here. I remember Goni, <laughs> the meaning of the word Goni, which is the um, official name of that uh, compound, is mountains. Remember, um, um, Gabriel told uh, Mary to visit her, her um, um, cousin, Elizabeth. Uh, at the mountains of Judea, then uh, we are uh, we are dealing with it, and we are entering soon for a short tour uh, to that church. First, we're going to the other side, and let's go back together with them. Mm. Mm. APMI. I can see the beautiful golden onion from right here. <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, at the visitation holiday in around May, they are covering everything with flowers. They're bringing the icon of uh, Mary um, to here and making a round tour uh, around uh, outside the church before they're entering the church. And uh, that is the reason why you can actually um, walk through there. And because I already did it, uh, let me see if I can walk through that part. Let me see if it's open. Because I want to know everything. Yes, it is. And I want you to see different things. Wow, I walked a lot today. I can feel my legs. If I didn't say it before, I'm not working because of the war. You're my only uh, tourist. Then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to support my channel, um, then you can send a link to everyone or you can um, you can uh, look at the just next to the like button there's a shape of a heart button it's called super super thanks and you can actually uh, help me through there and if you look at the description I will have uh, the, the text beneath the, the um, uh, video uh, I will add two more um, information about the, the compound, the Goni, and uh, two links of buy me a coffee and uh, PayPal, and you can help me through there as well. And every penny actually helps me because you are the only option for income in those horrible time, which I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. It looks like we are only starting the. Uh, the war, it's going to take a lot of time, then if you can do that, do that. If not, never mind, be part of my family, it's more than enough. Send crosses at that door, and let's enter together. Danny, will you be in front of me? I 
Ц Катедрал. Это uh, the place of the bishop. In every city there's a bishop, a church, and when the bishop is coming to here, he's praying here. From the 2000, they are using it. But as you already know, they didn't finish it. The walls are waiting for uh, for the icons, for the frescoes. Two floors. You can see the second floor now. And it's for the chorus first line. Because um, when there are a lot of um, a lot of uh, among uh, visitors here, then the nuns are staying at the second floor. This is a very well-known icon of St. Peter and, and St. Paul. Jesus Christ on the Church of the Judgment and then John the Baptist and, uh, and Mary and about this and everything. They're asking for something, they're praying for something from the judgment, from the judge. Uh, yeah. Forgiveness, they, what's the way they're asking for my Jesus. Judgment Day. Twelve uh, disciples are not here, waiting for. It's supposed to be here. They're not here yet. It's missing. Remember, they're still building it. That's where the disciples are supposed to be. Oh, this is a temporary constant. This is a wall of icon. They are planning to, to build something so huge until the dome. There are icons this of seven or eight floors. This is the saint of the Russian church. It's dedicated to them. Here. Ah. Here as well. There's a special icon that is taking us to see. This is the last Tsar, Nikolai II, and his family. Alexei was the only boy here, son, the rest were girls. The last Tsar made a lot of uh, problems to Russia, but I did declare of them as saints because they died like martyrs. They've been uh, murdered 
and the church is um, see them as uh, martyrs, the Christians, holy martyrs. You can see relics. Lots of relics here too. Sadly, it's, uh, it's in uh, Russian. When <clears throat> someone enters a church, he doesn't know uh, what, which holiday is today. Then when he entered to the Orthodox Provoslav Church, usually at the entrance it's been delegated to someone special. Then today it's delegated to... It's the holiday of uh, John the Baptist, finding his head, but it was still only at 5 p.m. This is this is the holy person of today. Uh, he didn't mention his name, but every day you will find a different uh, icon, and it's like a celebration. Then he actually said something lovely. Every day when he sees something, it's, he say, uh, "Happy holiday." No, Ulon, the same. Uh, the the name of the. A holy woman today is Matrona Matrona. I might cut uh, that video, a long video, into pieces, into few videos. Then this is uh, uh, that might be a um, uh, video that stand by itself of all the churches, and then it's going to be a long, long video. But I will cut it later on for different um, videos, shorter. We're going all the way out now through the hospital of uh, Enkerim and we are going to see the tower. I hope that we will reach the tower of, our, um, of the one who built it, which is there. Then, then sadly, we have to go a lot of down and then to climb all the way up. Gosh, I will be tired tonight. We are just walking like uh, more than 10 minutes down. And we have to climb all the way up then. Happy? I'm not. I am. I am. I am. I'm doing it uh, once in my lifetime or oh, more than that. I'm happy. Then we left the Cathedral of the Russian Saints through the exit. I can see that. Uh, people are waiting here or not. Oh, we found Roman, and we are walking at the right path. Oh, is a, what a beautiful sight of the Catholic Church from here.
Hello, Raven. Oh, the birthplace of uh, John the Baptist. Uh, look up here, what it is. Uh, I took a video, actually one and a half video of it. Today, you will see it at my YouTube channel. It was a rainy, the, the, the early morning was rainy, rainy, pouring. I love it. Actually, it's Riesling Plus. And although we did a tour from the end to beginning, this is the main entrance of the of the church and. Uh, Uh, if you will decide to do the tour without me, let me tell you, give you the telephone number. And it's 052 380 if you're This is from Israel. If you're calling from abroad, leave that zero, forget it. And then add plus nine seven two, and then five two three eight zero oh, nine one nine four. Monastery is open uh, every day from six a.m. to eighteen p.m. And the real name of it is. Wait, where's the English one? No English. Then, Women Monastery Gornanski. Gorni. Built in 1871 about Antony Kapustin. We actually saw his state here. Oops. Women, uh, when you are coming to here by yourself, please cover your hair, your head. Now we are climbing up to the tower that Kapustin they built and um, that's going to be the end of the tour <laughs> that place is the parking part of the parking of the hospital if I remember correctly then you don't need to see that part but that is the only entrance or the main entrance to the uh, monastery through the um, the hospital and I'm sure that if you will write Gorni a Monastery on Waze or Google Maps you will find it. We're still on the way to the tower and I'm not going to miss it. I mean if it's not important for you you can, uh, you can say goodbye but um, this is the other part of the light rail which I'm not sure why it's not functioning because uh, from here I could take the light rail straight to the uh, train station of Jerusalem and from there to my house in Tel Aviv. Sadly, I still cannot. And it looks like it can uh, operate it. It can, we can actually, we could use it, but we are not. Look at that convoy. Someone special is uh, entering now to the... Um, to the hospital, this is the hospital, maybe a minister or something like that, but we are heading to the top of the mount. Oh gosh, I cannot, oh, I don't believe that I'm doing it, but I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Hallelujah for that. All right, I wanted to see where we are entering to. It's through here and you can see the hospital. A little bit before the hospitals, we're climbing up. Back to the nature. That part belongs to the church as well. Uh, 
I will remind you why we are climbing up. Because you wanted to see, they want to build it. You wanted to see uh, the sea. Then he built he boat, the land, slowly, slowly, every time. Another part of it. I don't know if you're gonna see the sea, but I want to see the tower. And that's my friends will be the end of the video. It's gonna be a long video. But if the battery is still on, then I cannot say no. It's still up. Beautiful. It's like a trek now. It's uh, going to be one of the highest peaks of uh, Judean mountains in uh, Jerusalem. And it's special, special um, uh, weather. I'm not sure that I will do it in August and it's going to be too hot. Yeah, look how beautiful it is. It's like, um, let's say, uh, Europe. No, it's Jerusalem. <laughs> it's Jerusalem. All right, it's Jerusalem. Uh, in front of me, it's Iska Rani. I mentioned her name so many times. Because of her, I know most of my knowledge of uh, the uh, the Bible, yeah. And uh, thanks to her, yes, of course, it's thanks to her. <laughs> this is the lady. This is the lady. And Betty, you always ask me, who is my teacher? Then you saw, you saw her. Yeah, I can see the tower. I can see the tower. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there is a tower. I don't know if you have a camera. I don't know if you have a camera. I Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Oh, we did it! We did it. <laughs> you can see how it looks like. Capustin. Uh, the one who built it is, was there as well. This is the wall of the monastery from uh, 19th century. And that was the least part, uh, part of the monastery. Remember that at the beginning of the video, uh, if you are watching the long one, uh, I saw you a tomb of two nuns that were killed by a crazy guy, then, then they decided to build a wall around it. Then the um, monastery actually begins here, and the tower is part of it, and this, uh, that land belongs to 
to Israel, I mean, behind the wall. The wall goes all the way up. This is the tower that we were planning to reach. Not easy walking, but it was amazing, and everyone could do that. It's open to the public. You can see Roman, the white monk, I remember. Uh, he's got a family, kids, and a wife. And he told us that he's fasting because it's Lent. His wife cannot understand it. He's serving the community and he stayed most of the time at um, Mary Magdalene con uh, convert uh, at Mount of Olives. <laughs> All right, we're going to climb it. Let me take a video of it from there. He asked us, uh, we have to climb it. Can you deal with it? Huh. I think so. What a beautiful picture. We're in the tower now and you can see that. Ah, it's difficult. No. No. Roman, from here we can see the sea or not? That's too, no, I'm, not going, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 don't, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> you said that you can see, you could see the sky, it's uh, blue here, as, it's outside. No, it's difficult to go. Oh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> the, we didn't see the sea, but we, but look at the view. I mean, it's in, impressive. Anyhow, Jerusalem, uh, down there, it's um, it's uh, in Kerem, and you can see the old um, saints, Russian saints church, and uh, around it is the Russian command of Garni. I think it was enough. I'm so happy that I didn't climb there the ladder because it's crazy by itself but we are going that way all right then it's not the end we're still walking oh it's almost the end but it's not the end the end looks like a water system Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's what I thought to do. Yeah, Odd, odd, odd. Tembeim let muna mo shutefet. Az yala. Az bo bo ut muna mo shutefet im roman ve iska.
אוקיי. אני אצלם. אני אצלם. אני אשלח, כן, אני אשלח את כל התמונות. או מרביתם. בואו להצטלם, בבקשה. תמונה משפחתית. כן. דרך אגב, זה גם מקום טוב לעשות איזה פיקניק ככה, להגיע לפה, לעשות את זה לפה. זה יום האישה. זה כן, זה היום. היום האישה היום. היום ג'ון דה בפטיס יום? אתה לא בא לצלם? כל יום יש. בוא, אתה רוצה לעמוד שמה? יותר. כן, האמת היא רואים, רואים את כולכם, רואים את כולכם, רק תסתכלו לכאן, כן, תסתכלו לכאן, כן, מוכנים? להתחיל לחייך, אחד, שתיים, שלוש, ארבע, ורומן ביקש תמונה נוספת שתעמדו כאן עם המגדל, אז בואו אותי, אני אומר לכם המלון, שלוש עכשיו? איזה יופי. I cannot hear a lot of the bells, but I'm sending you the uh, spiritual music, uh, message now. And it was a pleasure to be with you today. And if you watched that, if you reached the end of that video, please send me a comment. I want to know who are the heroes. Bye-bye. <laughs>